Hi, my name is Stuart Williams, and I'm joined by my colleagues, Mark Sergetti and Pavidi Mahajan. We're from Synopsys, and we're pleased to share with you today our presentation titled From Development to Deployment, Accelerating SDV with Synopsys Virtual Prototyping and Silicon Lifecycle Management. The SDV is a concept that adds significant value to both the OEMs and their supply chain, as well as to the user, who of course is the end consumer and arbiter of the value that SDVs bring. You can think about the benefits of the SDV in two broad categories. The first is benefits to the value chain. It can eliminate the static nature of today's vehicle that is not easily updatable by software. Software-defined vehicles allow for over-the-air software deployment after the car has hit start of production to fix bugs, refine existing features, and introduce new features and services. Such an approach is scalable across platforms and, of course, can significantly reduce development time by up to 50% by some estimates and therefore can optimize cost. And this is our perspective on where SOPI is best positioned to add value. By specifying requirements for a common framework for middleware software layers, SOPI optimizes the choice, integration, and validation of preferred software solutions, which in turn reduces overall complexity and streamlines cost for software layers, which are not typically monetizable. Synopsis solutions enable and enrich SOPI. And we will be briefly touch on a couple of these solutions shortly. And there are, of course, multiple benefits to the user as well. Today, traditional value chain roles are being reimagined. OEMs, in some cases, are even taking ownership for decisions on silicon, the chip design itself, and full vehicle integration. Our approach is to identify the key engineering groups, determine their unique areas of ownership, and finally, help them achieve their goals. Let's take a quick look at the three key groups. First on the left are those responsible for developing their own SOC. The key is to spec and optimize the hardware in the presence of the software workloads while meeting power performance area targets. Second in the middle, software must be developed before hardware is available and validated quickly in a rigorous manner, meaning to maintain safety and security. And third on the right, ensure that regulations and compliance goals are met for safety, security, reliability, and quality. Now, let me hand it over to Mark who will share our virtual vehicle development solution. Thank you, Stuart. In the next few slides, we will discuss the need and transition of automotive software-defined vehicle validation from physical test benches and mule vehicles to virtual environment, also referred to as digital twins. Autonomy, electrification, connectivity, and shared mobility are delivered through growing software content executing on increasingly complex and powerful compute platform. The validation of software and systems cannot happen in isolation, serially, and be gated by hardware, physical test benches, or prototype vehicles availability. Mitigating schedule and development risks can be achieved by deploying a virtual simulation environment or digital twin of the electronic system. This environment provides parity between the actual vehicle and the development environment that can be used in the cloud. However, such environment needs to address key requirements to be used efficiently for validation. First, the environment needs to be standard-based, open, and provide a fast validation platform. Automotive systems are complex. You may need to integrate vehicle dynamic simulation, sensor environment with the electronic simulation. It also needs to be scalable. Scalable from SOC to ECU to vehicle, but also scalable to the use case that automotive developer are trying to address. For this, it needs to support various simulation abstraction. It needs to be multi-abstraction with the ability to actually mix different level of abstraction. Model libraries from SOCs to OS are needed to accelerate time to virtual environment. Finally, tools for modeling to debugging and testing available in the cloud must be made available to the developer to optimize the return. Synopsys has been at the forefront of developing 
Automotive Digital Twin Technologies for Automotive Electronics. Our technologies deliver the broadest abstraction level. For those familiar, that would be level one through level four. We've also been at the forefront of model support to deliver an automotive electronic system digital twin such that it can be integrated into a complete virtual vehicle testing solution. This are the requirements from a technology. Let's also focus on area where the user gets significant return and that are important to mitigate the development schedule and quality risk. This can be achieved in multiple areas. First, starting early, before hardware is available. Here specifically, we, we talked earlier about new uh, compute platform. When it comes to the new compute platform, those SOCs that are still in development, the use of virtual prototype has shown that you can start 12 to 18 months before the hardware is available. And when you bring up that new software on this new hardware platform, this is now a matter of week, a week, rather than being months of effort to bring up that software. Accelerating system validation requires enabling faster system validation feedback to the development team. A virtual environment closes that loop with feedback in hours rather than days. As software will need to be continuously maintained, enhanced and validated for over the air update, parallelizing thousands of scenario can only scale through a virtual environment. Driving those millions of miles needed for validation will be required a virtual environment. Finally, ensuring safety of the system is key in automotive. A virtual environment enables testing corner and dangerous cases without risk, thus accelerating the path to ISO 26262 compliance. Automotive digital twins using virtual prototypes of the electronic system are tightly linked with the SOFI initiative, providing platform to develop software, validating software and system in the cloud and bringing up SOFI software stack are key consideration we at Synopsys are looking forward to bring these years of experience in this area, deployment expertise, and leading technology and models to help Tier 1 and OEM deploy and accelerate software-defined vehicle validation. Thank you. I will now hand it over to Pawini, who will share more perspective on silicon lifecycle management. Thanks, Mark, for the quick overview of a very powerful solution. Now diving right into silicon lifecycle management for automotives. To start, let's discuss some of the challenges that the automotive chip designers face today. Scaling, packaging, to system complexity, and even unpredicted workloads. For the purposes of today, I will not go into too much detail on each of these other uh, challenges, but focus our time on the unpredictable workloads. So software today is non-deterministic. By that, I mean that today we are delivering systems into the field that will have multiple software updates throughout their lifetime. We don't fully know how this will impact the deployed product with each software update. Updated software, if not managed carefully, may cause the product to consume more power shorten lifetimes, and negatively impact user experiences. So how do we know if a software update is good? Of course, one of the ways to do it is through silicon lifecycle management, which will tell us by measuring post-software update conditions in the field. In, conclu in conclusion, what we're essentially saying is that we can no longer afford to be blind to what is happening inside the chips, in silicon visibility, insight, and silicon health is key. So moving to the next segment where we actually talk about the SLM solution a little bit, which has four main uh, life cycles, monitor, export, analyze, and act. 
The Synopsys Integrated Silicon Lifecycle Management Solution and Platform has been designed to improve silicon operational metrics at every phase of the device lifecycle. The SLM platform is built on a foundation of enriched in-chip observability, analytics, and integrated automation. Monitors enable deep insight from silicon to system, and meaningful data is then gathered at every opportunity for continuous analysis and actionable feedback. So SLM consists of two primary steps, deploying the sensors and monitors and structures embedded with silicon designed to gain insight on how devices are made and how they perform in field. And the second step is gathering and analyzing this data at every opportunity throughout the life cycle of the silicon device to provide powerful analytics that enable in design, in production, test, and in field observations and device improvements to be made. So today we will focus on the second step to provide an overview of a proposed solution. So this is a pictorial representation of the SLM solution in context of SOFI. The idea is to leverage existing infrastructure and enhance the operations with silicon insights, you know, such as temperature, voltage, margin, built-in self-test, and other on-chip sources. So here our solution is divided into three steps, mainly for observability, data transfer through the OEM's data lake, and then actions through uh, over-the-air updates or alerts. Now the step one is for silicon observability is enabled by uh, the embedded monitors and sensors in the automotive. The vehicle sends metrics and events to the cloud uh, via an SLM edge application. In step two, the real-time data is coupled with aging and reliability models to provide access through uh, REST APIs. Then in the step three, the existing fleet level operations can be enhanced by leveraging REST APIs in existing and new applications to take actions, including alerts and OTA updates. Our vision for the future includes uh, having a queryable and quick access to uh, manufacturing historical test data of silicon for multiple uh, from multiple vendors. This could be data that is uh, collected over the entire life cycle of an automotive, which could be 10 plus years. The second uh, area that we would like to focus uh, in the future is uh, to enable and come up with a framework for uh, the enablement of data governance for silicon data from sensors and monitors. So all in all, this is a brief overview of the infield analytics solution for silicon lifecycle management for automotives. Um, thank you. And uh, now back to Stu for the summary. So let's conclude with a summary and call to action. There are three keys to accelerating software development and validation. The first is transition from a physical to a virtual development environment. The second is the ability to handle a broad set of use cases. And the third is that the solution needs to integrate various simulation, testing, and data management technologies. Synopsys is the technology and industry leader deploying automotive virtual prototyping solutions from SOC to ECU to vehicle. Second is silicon lifecycle management, which can help in two key aspects. One is providing fleet level visibility in regards to silicon health by collecting data from various sources inside silicon. And the second is providing actionable insights based on purpose-built aging, reliability, machine learning models, and real-time monitoring data. Please visit us at synopsis.com automotive for more information or to contact us separately. Thank you.